Hello, welcome to the last Super Paper Mario stream, if things go well, and I don't suddenly goof everything up at the last moment. But yeah, we're, we're about to start the final chapter, I believe. Actually, we should hit start here, so we can start loading it up. Hey, Ducky. Welcome. He says, 35 minutes before sun rises. You'll have to be prompt. I will try my best. I don't know if I could beat this game in 35 minutes. Christmas Elf, hey. There's always a chance of goofing up, that's true. Well, the last chapter was definitely the longest one so far. Look at that! We, we have all the moons. Wait, why is the last one not filled in? That's weird, isn't it? We just got the last moon. Is this a glitch? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Huh. I know we just got the last... Did I keep calling it moon? Sorry, pure heart. I was thinking of Mario Odyssey for some reason. Anyway... Yeah, I don't know why I was calling it moons. <laughs> they look nothing like moons. Okay, let's talk to old Merlin to remind us what we're doing. Take the last pure heart and place it within the heart pillar in flop side. Right. I will do that. And we have a shortcut. You know, let's rest. Get our health back. You know, we're getting to the end of the game. It's probably going to start, you know... Getting harder to survive. I have nine items. Oh yeah, I bought that hot sauce for no reason. So on flip side, the inn you just go to sleep, but on flop side, you can pay for like a premium service where you get like a bed and breakfast. Something. Now we're all healed up. Nintendo truly is a master of, at marketing now that I think of it. Intelligent systems, huh? That's not a company you'll see work with Sony. Was that a burn? Did you just burn Sony? Is that... I'm sure I have poured 20 hours into Neo 2 already and I must be nowhere one quarter through the game. Wow. Sounds like a long game with a lot of content. Oh yeah, they said to go up the Black Tower, right? Did they? Oh no, 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 we have to find the Heart Pillar first. So... Let me try to remember. Were there anything... I think that just leads up to that area where I found the, uh, the recipe disc thing, which I think I never did take to the chef. I probably still have it in my items, let me see. Yeah, I still do. Whoops. I'll try to remember to do that after we find the pillar and... After we set the final pure heart into the pillar. Ducky says, what? Me burn Sony? Never. Whoops. And then he said, a lot of content. Yeah, more like dying constantly. I don't know anything about Neo. What kind of game is it? Yahoo! I do tricks off the corpses of dying enemies. Sure we've been this way already, but... Oh, I think that's the last pillar we've done so far. If I remember correctly. Although I don't remember using Dottie last time. Let's just check it out. Just in case. 
Whoa! I can't even see where I was. It's dangerous. <laughs> Luigi can make that jump. Easy. Alright, so we've used this pillar. Oh, is that it? Maybe that was just for that pillar. I wonder if Luigi can make that jump, actually. Let's see. Oh no, because he can't be 3D. Whoops. Because I was going to say, if Luigi could like just jump... Maybe Mario can, actually. Let's see. Let's just give it a shot. Nah, they don't even let you try. Alright, so Ducky says, in regards to Neo, It plays just like 3D Ninja Gaiden, but with stats and loot, it's a mix of action game and Diablo-like. Diablo-like, really? When I think of like a 3D Ninja Gaiden and Diablo, it seems very different games, but I've never played 3D Ninja Gaiden, so... I guess I can't say for sure. I play the 2D Ninja Gaidens. Those are some of my favorite games. Although I still haven't... I looked up Ninja Gaiden 3 recently. I really regret not getting Ninja Gaiden 3 when it was like around $30. Because that was too much for me. Or you know what, maybe it was over $30 and I was trying to find it for like $30. Okay, so this is the one we did last with Luigi because we had to jump over it. Um, damn Luigi, you could just jump up there like that. You don't even need to do the super jump. But now, I was looking at Ninja Gaiden 3 and it's like, for NES, and it's like $50, $60. It's like, yeah, I'm probably just not going to get that one. Ever, unless I get really, really lucky. What are these things? Very strange. I've got Ninja Gaiden 3 on the Wii U brand new. Too bad I only have the gamepad. It's not great for such games. Yeah, there's certain games where I can't really imagine playing them with uh, certain peripherals. Like, uh... What would be a good example? Gosh, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. Oh, actually. I think if you go 3D up here... Yeah, right here. No, that's just the underneath part, isn't it? Yeah, you were just there. Maybe I was supposed to go through the el Oh, you know what? Let's talk to the other Merlin. And maybe he would have, a, like, a hint for us. Probably should have did that to begin with. I play Devil's Third with the gamepad for a 3D shooter. It's incredibly playable that way. Like the Switch controllers, it's hard for me to imagine playing a lot of games with that. I guess it depends on what the game is. Oh, speaking of the Switch, my uh, my my Deadly Premonitions review for the Switch, which I put out um, uh, six days ago, it it's uh, it's gotten up to like 350 views the last time I checked, which is just awesome. Like 
that's really good for me to get 300 plus views in under a week for one of my reviews it's really cool and it seems to be getting like pretty good uh oh where's fake merlin or reverse merlin i should say he's not even here uh it's getting like pretty good responses it's like mostly likes i think there's like one dislike but you're always gonna get you know if anything that's just indicative that the video is is getting enough uh i don't know why i'm going up here it's not like there's a pure heart you know what i should go to that spot where there was a there was like a floating heart spot you guys remember that can't remember where it was exactly yeah, we're not supposed to go up here until we put the, the pure heart in. Anyway. Deadly Premonition Review is doing really well and I'm really happy about that. I think I got lucky. I think I released it at the exact perfect time because the, the release date trailer had just dropped right before I, I put it out. Oh, look, there's stuff up there. I don't think I've ever noticed this before. Hang on. Can we land up there? Oh, maybe we can't. Mm. That's weird that that stuff's up there and we can't reach it. Anyway, my other idea of where we might find the... The last pillar is if we go underground, but not in the weird outskirts area. Hey Ricks, welcome. You got to play Friday the 13th on the Xbox. Wow. I haven't played that yet, but it looks fun. Like one of those fun co-op games. Whoops. Wait, what did he say? I know it's common sense, but if you use the pixel name Carrie, you can even stomp on spiked enemies. I didn't know that, actually. So... Thank you. Don't feel bad, sir. That was a good tip. Do you know that Deadly Premonition is an extremely popular niche game? It has a big cult following since Swery is a popular dude. I didn't know about all that. You should have shared the video on Twitter and added Swery himself. He would have shared it. Really? Well, you know, I was thinking of tweeting the video. I always forget to do, like, social media stuff like that. I'm not good at that. But, um... After this video, I, I was gonna, I did want to tweet the video, even though nobody's following me, but now that you said that, after this video is over, I'll, I'll at him and, and say, like, and I'll tweet it, and maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Right, this area, but we can't get to this area yet. So this is what I was thinking of, but we can't get through here yet. Hmm. Okay, so this is the first time where I'm a little lost on where I'm supposed to be going. Swery is busy right now, but yeah, he's awfully nice and positive on Twitter. That's cool. It's always nice to know that a, a game developer or director or anything really is nice. Oh, there is water right here. You just can't see it normally. Here we go. Maybe we're getting somewhere. I'm pretty sure I've never been down here before, so... Oh, it's this guy. Hi there, I'm Flam, the map chap. I sell hidden mysteries of the world here. So are you into maps or what? Because this chap is... Maps I sell, they got great pictures. Pictures of treasures. Each map shows you where to go, and if you find the treasure, it's yours. So what do you think? I mean, that's cool, right? And you're here, so buy one. Do it. Pick a map. Wow. Oh. They have different descriptions. A familiar spot. Colorful objects in a row. Underground area. Door with an unusual design. Huh. shows a house. I guess we're underground so I could buy this one. And by busy I mean 
Uh, Deadly Premonition 2 is incoming. Yeah, that's what I figured. He's probably hard at work trying to hit the release date. Whoops. Uh, the weird thing about Super Paper Mario is that I get more N64 vibes with it than Paper Mario 64. That's interesting. Wait, how do we look at the map? Oh. Oh. Wow, this is my first map. Uh... Okay, I think I know you're probably supposed to flip the wall there with Fleep. And I know where that is, but... I'm not really gonna worry about that for now. I, I, I need to find where the pillar is. The teeny tiny food store itty bits. Pasta, power steak, and a smelly herb. I don't really need any items, but thanks anyways. Ducky says, Jeezy probably won't pick it up, but I'm so eager to see Deadly Premonition 2. I'll be weak and get it, I think. I'm interested in it. I'm definitely interested in it. I just don't really have a whole lot of money to be dropping on like a lot of new games. <clears throat> So I'm, I'm kind of selective when it comes to that. Whoops. Um, I, I will definitely consider it because I do want to play it. I just... Not sure. I mean, if anything, I might even get like a Gamefly subscription and then I could rent it. I, I also want to finish the first Deadly Premonition. Yeah, right, and then the... I can understand, like, with the switch drift and everything, it really sucks. I mean, I'm kind of... Like, my with my drift, I can at least... make it work for, like, an hour at a time, usually, if I clean it right before I start playing. But the fact that it does drift is kind of a pain. Okay, you know what? This is gonna be my first time doing this. Actually, let's stop by here and... Before I forget. So we just got more recipes. Hey, Koopa Tea. Koopa Tea? Cup of tea. I like how I put that there, but I'm not actually gonna make any recipes. You just pick up items so often in this game that I don't usually really bother buying items. $50 game, $80 Joy Cons. I need to look up a cheap knockoff. I heard they were almost as good as Nintendo's version. Yeah. The thing, the, the thing about the Joy-Cons is just, I feel like if you're paying $80 for a full controller, they should be good, you know, pretty sturdy quality. I'm, 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 that's like one of the things I'm disappointed in them. Like, I'm not a huge fan of how they feel in my hand, because like, they're, they feel kind of small. And I don't know if it's just because I have big hands or whatever, but... That's kind of a preference thing, but the fact that they get the drift so often is kind of a an objective issue. So anyways, I'm gonna ask Merly for advice. Oh, never mind. She doesn't give you advice, she just gives you like a good luck, I think. Yeah, charm. I mean, I might as well pay for one. I have so much money, screw it. I haven't been spending a lot of money beforehand. Sparkling sun up in the sky, shine fortune on these guys. KG. How about playing Fragile Dreams, Farewell Ruins of the Moon Wii? Hey, I wanted to recommend Fragile Dreams. I've never heard of that, and it sounds really cool. 
They do feel small, but I adore the fact I can put my hands anywhere and be able to play as I can't hold my arms too much. I just put my hands in my pocket and continue playing. That's what I liked about the Wii controller. Is that you could just kind of just lay back and play however. Um, but, but the Wii remotes feel good. Like, I don't know. It's a preference thing. Let's see, where am I going? Maybe we go up here. Maybe you have to talk to the one in flip side and she gives you... She can point you in the right direction. The problem is usually we, you could talk to Merlin and he'll give you a hint. But the flop side Merlin is just AFK. Uh, don't you have to point the Wii Remote towards the sensor bar? It depends on which game you're playing. You only need to point the Wii Remote at the sensor bar if there's specific um, on-screen, like, like a cursor like this moving around, then you'll have to point it. But a lot of games just use, like, gyro uh, motion, which is what the Switch uses. Let me look in here, because this is where Merlin should be. Yeah, and he's not here. I bet you he's waiting by the right pillar, but it's like, I don't even know where that is. Whoops. I'll just save anyways. I don't know where the heck that guy is. You know what? Okay, we're gonna go to flop side. Or sorry, we're gonna go back to flip side. We're gonna talk to... The other Merly. And hopefully she can give us a hint on where we're supposed to go. Fortune teller, there we go. This is exactly what we need. 70 coins? Sure. I got plenty of money. Ah, Hocus Pocus Focus, Cabra, Dadabra, Hullabaloo. Howdy too. Kick him in the dishpan, woo woo woo. See the souls who lost the way, show me. Okay, we gotta pay attention here. I see your destined path. I see a tall, dark tower, flop side tower. At the base of the tower, you'll flip and head away from downtown flop side. At the outskirts, you look around very carefully. Then the way opens. No! Oh, that's all? That didn't really help. I mean, okay, at least we know that it's for sure it's in the outskirts. I guess we just gotta look more carefully. Stream Cut was watching the guide real quick. Hey, what's up, Parson Wells? Yeah, we're on the final chapter now, so uh, as long as I can, uh... So this is the tower. So they said go to the outskirts. Which is this way. This is the outskirts. And look around very carefully. Wait, what? Okay. I don't know how I missed that. It's it's right there. Alright. Sure. I think she scammed me. I think she placed the the pillar there after I paid her the money. That's my theory. I mean, she was right, it was right in the outskirts. I guess, maybe I, I assumed that I had already used this one and I was checking around the wrong areas. But there we go. The last pillar has been placed. There he is, see? So the time has come. I like how his, uh, his little necklace is like the experience points, the star points you would get in the old Paper Mario games. 
Heroes, the last door is at the top of the flopside tower in the center of town. I'll go ahead and wait there for you. Once you prepared for battle, that await uh, the battle that, that waits beyond that door, come to me. Hey Clifford, welcome. Alright. I'll just save right here real quick. Alright guys, we're about to enter the final chapter. Oh man. That's a spooky door. This is the final door. Eight pure hearts versus the dark prognosticus. Castle Black awaits. There was something on the last page of the light prognosticus. Only those who have not abandoned hope can turn back the prophecy of doom. They walk forward into the future, no matter how dark and uncertain it may be. I'm doing good, Clifford. Oh, look, it's both of them. You have fought all this way because you believe the future could be bright. I can't go through this door with you, but I send you with all the hope in my heart. I know that you can do it. I too believe it in my heart. Thank you, both of you. Leave it to us. Are we gonna group hug? Enough pep talk, Gramps. I'm doing this for me. Tippy. I don't know what is in your mind, but if this is too hard for you, please feel free to stay behind. No, I'm going. I've decided. I must do this. Tippy, if your memory returns... Tippy, you've changed much. You've grown so strong. So, be sure to return safely to me. I will, Merlin. Let's go. Let's defeat Count Black. Let's save all these worlds from destruction. Alright, here we go. And hurry for the worlds may not have much time. In that black span of nothing, you will find Castle Black. You may face battles harder than any of you have endured thus far. If you feel ready to face this challenge, then please go forward. They're really building this up. They're like, are you sure you're ready? I don't know if you're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready, guys. Mario, Princess Peach, Bowser, Luigi, be strong. And you too, Tippy. All right, here we go. After finding every pure heart, the band of heroes set off for Castle Black. The stakes were high as the ominous void grew larger and the end drew near. Could Mario and friends stave off the inevitable and overturn the prophecy? What strange twist of fate awaited Tippy and Count Black? These thoughts plagued the minds of our heroes as the curtain rose on the final act. Oh boy. Chapter 8. The Impending Darkness. That looks like a Disneyland castle or something. We're just gonna go to Disneyland. Oh, here we go. So here we are at last, Count Black's castle. <clears throat> do, 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 do with the ominous music. So Bloomier is here. Er, never mind. We'd better get going. Those text cards are really useless. Don't you feel this game lack cutscenes? Um, I mean a lot of RPGs tell a story through text, right? Especially older ones. So I think it's fine. Although this game does have less cutscenes than the older ones. I think that I, well, the, the text cards usually happen at the end of chapters in the old Paper Mario games and those are really iconic. 
So I guess the ones that start in the beginning are maybe a little redundant, but I'm okay with them. The void is going to absorb everyone. Did you get the secret pixel? Um... Oh, you mean Barry? I got Barry. If that's what you're talking about. But I think there might be another one or something because... When I was about to fight the these chain chomps in the underwear, they said that if I could put it to... I could put them to sleep. Like, they gave me this tip about putting it to sleep, so there might be an item or another pixel or something that I don't have, because I wasn't able to put him to sleep. Whoa! These guys are tough. You know what, why don't I use Bowser? Set him on fire. Whoa, what is that? That's a blue magic block. These mad mages live in the space between dimensions. HP 25, attack 4. They only appear long enough to hurl spells at you. They use magic, so I assume they're quite intelligent, but nobody knows for sure. Blue magic bolts are known for their high HP. I know, that is a high HP. And they're fast, too. Got him. Barry Allen, that's another flash. See, it's all connected. <laughs> Oh, I know Barry Allen. Yeah, let's stick with Bowser for now. Whoops! Jeez, we're actually gonna want to start healing. That's good, I can actually start using my items. Whoops. Twenty-five is high HP for a for a normal enemy. Yeah, I'd say. You know what? We're gonna switch to Luigi because I could do. Oh, he tricked me. Oh, if you land on them with the super jump, that also does double damage. I actually never realized that until now. I'm a Jalian. Ah. Man, I can't believe Bowser's minions have all been brainwashed. Hey, I recognize this. This is where they were trying to escape last time, I think. And then they came to a dead end. I wonder if Peach could, like, float somewhere from here. Or if it'll just fall off to our doom. Let's see. Nope. Float to doom, float to doom. I like this level. It's minimalistic, but it looks great, says Ducky. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think a lot of the game's uh, artistic themes are... Minimalistic, but nice. Whoops. Alright, back to Luigi. You know, I need to remember, I have items that I need to be using, too. Boom! Person Wells wants me to play as Bowser for all the cutscenes. Oh, it's an I I from Mario 64. Or Mr. I, never mind. These bizarre foes can't help but give you the evil eye. I know how to defeat these. Oh, there we go. This one's red. A red eye. They glare at anyone that walks by. Same thing. I like I just have to walk by it once. I don't think I have... Yeah, I don't have room. I guess I need to... Uh... Okay, you know what? 
Wrong button. I'm going to use this long last shake. And then I'm going to use uh, Doubles Attack, reduces damage by half. I'll just use this. I don't need to, but I just want to make up some space. Ooh, that's a pretty good shake. It's just killing me. Ah, oh, we don't have a key yet. All right. Oh, there is a door up there, though. We can soft save. What do you mean, soft save? Good old Luigi. Oh, no, we're not gonna have room. What's in here? Another long last shake. Uh, so we'll get rid of the sleepy sheep. Whoops. There's no floor there. You're saying reset to soft save? Well, it's okay if we don't see every variation of the dialogue. I'm okay with that. It's mainly just the main story I'm concerned about. Ooh, these guys are different. Key? Key? Yes. That is exactly what I needed. We got a key. We got a key. Like he says, well, you don't care, but if I play that, something I do. It, it depends on what it is. If there's a lot of cutscenes, like in the Paper Mario One and Two, all of your partners have like a like a one or two lines of dialogue that they'll react differently. It'll be like one sentence that's different. And uh, there's so many examples of that. Is if you if you had to reset the game every single time, it would it would take like a thousand hours. We got through the door. I'm sure it's the first door of many. Oh no. I don't have room for any more. You know what? We'll use... Uh, ice Storm, why not? There we go, now we have room for another item. Whatever that may be. These poor guys just getting wiped out. One of the awesome things about Bowser is that he just does double damage compared to everyone else. I wish you had, like, save states. Yeah, well, I'm playing on the actual Wii. Which I usually try... I prefer to play with the actual console. 
you know, if, if I can. Ooh, this one's a different color. Closer. Yeah, he has extra health, I think. Let me see. Goblus, a beast that's even meaner than a Robus. It just has 20 HP, okay. So you have to hit it more than once, basically, compared to the normal variation. There we go. You know what? Oh! Okay. Tricky. His head, I wonder if he's gonna follow me in 3D as well. Let's see. Nope. Okay, so that's specifically designed to counter Luigi. Oh my god, these guys just spit out fire? That's weird. Fire bro, these Leafle Koopas spit searing fireballs. Usually don't they like throw the fireballs? Huh. So, yeah, learning to shoot fire from your mouth must have taken some practice. Well, once again, I gotta say, I think my guy Luigi would do wonderfully here. Oh, look at that. This is definitely going to be something. So, blank, fire, fire, blank, fire. Blank, fire, fire, blank, fire. Let's remember that. Oops. You know what? I'm going to use the info I learned from, from that one guy. Oh, you don't- you jump off of carry once you do the super jump. I guess that's fair. Ooh, nice. I was just considering healing too. My health was starting to get lower. Okay, blank. Fire. Fire. Blank fire. There we go. That's like a rule. If you see, like, torches on, on a wall that seem to have a specific pattern, then you want to remember that. With carry, you can drop fire. Use Bowser on carry. You can drop fire? Oh. Oh, that's cool. I want to look at this real quick in 3D. Eh, just giant stairs. That get smaller and smaller. Well, there might be stuff off to the side though, who knows. Nope, you can kind of see through it all. I think one reason why they made this game like especially simplistic is that uh, you every single area needs to have a 2D perspective and it needs to have a 3D perspective. Horrible day. Oh! It's all chunks. Slap me down with a slab of mutton. I never would have thought you'd make it here. I'll tell you this though, you shouldn't have been such a fork in me rumpus. Now I have to hit you with the full force of me chunks. That's big talk from the Trump who gets stomped again and again. <laughs> How dare you. Oh, here comes Bowser. You heard me, you're going down, chunky boy. What? How about proving it then? Right here, you and me, wrestling match of the ages. Bring it, Beardo. I'll take you on alone. I got all the sweet stomping you need right here. Bowser, are you sure about this? 
Oh, ha, don't you worry, I've had egg salad sandwiches chunkier than this guy. You just step back and watch how a totally awesome tyrant gets business done. I'm gonna hurtle into ya with the force of a massive airy comet, you great big crybaby. Chunk up! Uh oh. He's in his super form. Bet you weren't expecting that, were ya? Where's your flapping mouth now, eh? It's time for an old fashioned, no old bard rumble. Uh oh. So they really make you use, uh. Like you can't switch, that's funny. Whoa! Whoops. Ooh, this is a, a challenge in itself because of Bowser's pretty slow. Please, I don't, I didn't want him to do that as an attack. There we go. Herg. How could you be chunkier than I? You're not but a blooming turtle. How can I go on living with the shame of it all? Hey Bowser, let me keep my dignity as my me game ends. Finish me quick. Hey, there's no shame in being smacked down by a huge studly boss. Uh, what's that shaking? Uh-oh. That's not good. Ward. I hope everyone died. Oh, it's gonna be your chunks, huh? Yep. Her. Oh, chunks, you saved us? What are you waiting for? Get out of this place. But why'd you save us? Because you spanked me, eh? You earned the right to pass. Now I'm making sure you do just that. Her. You got more chunks in your head than I thought. Bowser, what are you doing? Hey, super stu super stupid bros, get the princess into the next room now. But... Mara's shocked. I said go. But... Alright, Bowser. Well, see you later. I think Bowser didn't like that O'Chunk's gotta be the hero, so he had to come in. You get out of here too. Don't worry about me, I could hold this thing up all day. Hey, you stole me line. Your hands are quivering like a, la a ladle of me mum's lard gravy. Don't be the tough guy, go. I am the tough guy, you get out. No, you get out. No, you. Her? Oh, well, they're both crushed. Uh, Bowser. <laughs> the door, it won't budge. Oh no. Oh dear. Well, goodbye Bowser. We, we don't have time, we must keep going. Are you sure, princess? I'm not worried about Bowser, he isn't easy to get rid of. Damn. Pete says I'm not worried. Oh boy, she's right about that. Bowser has survived worse. Alright, let's get a move on to Count Black. He has survived worse. He got sucked into a black hole at least one time. Hey, that's the end of the first subchapter. Nice. Alright, we're moving along. Poor Bowser, he sacrificed everything. An endless labyrinth of mind-boggling turns and deadly enemies. This final journey was more dangerous and trying than our heroes had seen before. Mario and friends kept on without Bowser, who was lost in a duel. There was no time to stop and search for Bowser or even grieve. Our heroes knew they had to rush forward the final encounter with Count Black. Or rush toward. Chapter 8-2, The Crash.
Crash. This is where Crash Bandicoot becomes the the new fourth hero. Another tremor. I've lost count of them all. It is strange. I mean, this is Count Black's private castle, right? So why would he let the destruction ravage his own home? What sort of evil plan is it if he destroys himself in the process? Have you been paying attention? He wants everything destroyed. That includes himself. Lumiere, so it really is you. Uh, him, uh, uh, let's just keep moving. We need to find Count Black soon. Castle Black Foyer, or Foyer, however you pronounce it. These little hamburger monsters are fun. Zoing Oing, they're very rare, living only in the space between dimensions. That makes me want to catch it with the catch car, but I don't have one, I don't think. Nope. Yeah, that's fine. They just tempted me with the... when they said it was really rare. Well, unfortunately for Horson Wells, we can't use Bowser anymore because he got crushed. Whoa, they almost... Wait, can you jump on him with this? Nope. So that's funny. You can jump on a spiked enemy with this, but if you jump on the slow down guy, it still slows you down. That's good to know. Oh no. I'm so slow now. Oh my god, it really lasts a while, doesn't it? There we go. Bowser's back in Jaden's castle. Jaden. Hey, we leveled up! Nice. Do you mean the... The Shadow Queen JDs. Hey, it's Merlin. Oh ho ho, you finally arrived. It's totally gon gonna be Merlin and it's not a trap for sure, guys. Merlin, what are you doing here? I found a fascinating passage in the Light Prognosticus, so I rushed here to tell you. To get to Count Black, it seems you must hit this totally unsuspicious block. So why don't you give it a jolly old whack? Well, you gotta listen to Merlin, right? It's Merlin, the descendant of the ancients who has offered us so much guidance. But what's he doing here? This is a blue switch. Jump on it or hit it, see what happens. So I'm wondering if, if I could just hit Merlin, or if I have to hit the switch. Why, what seems to be the problem, hero? Better get to bashing that block. There's simply no time to dawdle. Hurry up and hit the block. Perhaps you had better do less thinking and more bashing. Urgent bashing is required, you must believe me. You don't believe me? Look at this beard. Has this beard ever lied to you? Hit the stupid block, hit the stupid block. <laughs> Hit the super block, stupid, stupid. Just hit it. Let's just stop and talk hypothetically. Say there's these things called flags. Say you want to eat some ice cream, but you haven't hit the ice cream flag yet. Well, you'd never get so much as a lick of ice cream unless you hit that flag. This is one of those times, not just bash it. There's so much extra dialogue here. Please just bash it. Please just bash it. Okay, so now it's repeating. Can we? Alright, I like that we got to see all that extra dialogue. Well, I guess we gotta bash it, just like Merlin said. Teehee, what a bunch of... Dummy. Oh, suckers. Yep, she's wearing a different dress again. She keeps changing. That's kind of cool that she's not just wearing the same thing every time. 
Oh no, I'm in a jail cell. How will I ever escape? If only I had a... There's two ways to get out of here, I think. Because you could use Slim. And just Slim... Oh, maybe you can't. I guess you have to blow your way up. Oh, come on, I'm made of paper. This is some kind of sick joke. Okay, I guess we just gotta blast our way out. I guess maybe that's the joke, is that you're made of paper, but you can't get out of those really, really wide-spaced bars. Hmm. Oh, there's a pipe, but then there's also a door back here. I wonder which one I want to go through. Okay, so up would lead back up to the fake Merlin. So I'm curious to see where these doors lead to first. Oh no, spikes. If only I had... a carry. You know, like the Stephen King book slash movie. I don't know what that just did, but sure. Whoops. You're supposed to use Slim in 2D World. No, that wouldn't work because then you wouldn't... You wouldn't... You can't move up and down when you're in 2D. You can only move left and right. You can't move on the Z-axis or whatever you call it. So now let's see what's over here. Whoa! Actually... <laughs> I hope those blocks did something cool and helpful. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, there's lots of pipes. Ooh, I will take that. Oh no. Ah. Well, we already have one Thunder Rage, so... I'll just leave that one. Okay. So that one doesn't lead the right way. Oh wait, wait, you can clearly see the pipes. But the pipes don't lead anywhere, can't you? So hitting, hitting those buttons must affect them. All right. Four. But it looks like there's five pipes total. Because there would be two on each side. But up here... You, oh, that one pipe goes so high. I'm surprised they put the Thunder Rage back where it was. Okay. Interesting. So let's see what happens if we hit the button. Oh, I get what you're supposed to do. When you hit the button, it probably moves the pipe. And you need to move it to where it'll go to the pipe that, that goes through the ceiling. So I'm guessing I need to hit this twice. There's a puzzle in Thousand Year Door that, that's uh, similar. And I also, I think... Is, there might be one in the first game as well. I don't know. But I know Thousand Your Door for sure has one that's similar to that. Yeah, see, the, each hit moves the pipe once. Okay. Yeah, I could definitely see getting stuck there as a kid. Because it, it, it's not very obvious what the buttons do. Especially me, because I'm very unobservant with stuff like that. Oh my god, there's so much stuff that I can't use. Well, you know what? Let's, let's throw this, and then I'll use this item. Wait, oh. Okay, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Key, perfect. And a life shroom. That's, that's pretty useful. Uh... 
I need to use more stuff. I'll get rid of this. Do I need two live streams though? Maybe one live stream is plenty. I think one live stream is probably pr plenty, honestly. That should be fine. Whoop! Whoops, I grabbed it again. Oh. Oh, cola button, let's hit it again. I'm sure it, 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 the pit would open up again. Not that it would take long to get out of it. Hey, look, it's the Dark Goombas, the Gloombas. As they call them in the old country. Oh, I didn't quite make it. Boom! <gasps> Mysterious power makes you jolly. Start Whoa. Whoa! I already... I already used one of those. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I paid for the, the good luck charm, so... I'm surprised that's like the first time we actually got an effect, because I paid for the most expensive one. It was like 200 coins. Whoops. Back to good old Kudge. Wow, there was one of, the, of each type in here. I don't think I want that. Ah, look at that. Sneaky. It looked like an empty room. But in reality... It was not an empty room. Please don't be a normal item. I don't have room. It's a normal item. And I have two of these. Oh, boy, um... I guess I'll throw a, one of the weapon items. I really didn't want to throw away the, an Ultra Shroom, I mean... It's an Ultra Shroom. I don't know if there's a way to uh, increase your storage in this game. But, because 10 items definitely doesn't feel like enough, especially with how much you you get them. Maybe they didn't want you like hoarding too many items, I'm not sure. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh. Do we have a key still? No, okay, so we have to actually fall for these traps. Hmm. But which trap is the best trap to fall for? Oh, okay. Oh, at least it wasn't like a normal item. I forgot the mushrooms just heal you. It's the shakes that are like proper items. Oh, this thing. Let's get rid of that ASAP. Before it starts multiplying. Oh, it's gonna multiply. <sighs> Alright, let me think here. Is it only in the 3D? It is only in the 3D. Um. Can't even reach them. They're just gonna keep multiplying. Let's see here. Oh, you know what? This is a perfect... I never use my items. Why don't I use an item? Oh, look at that. Key. Just what we needed. 
So good thing we didn't fall for the first two traps since those, uh, I'm guessing wouldn't have gave us the key item we needed. The literal key item. Now we can move on. Look at that! How magnificent! You have arrived! I saw it in the stars, you would survive. Heroes, do not flee, for I am the lovely and mysterious Merli. My beauty and the stars led you here. Rest now, for you have nothing to fear. Um, are you really Merli? Whatever is it that you imply, how could anyone wonder if it is I? Look at this lovely aura glow. Does it not tell you all you need to know? Ah. Uh, I will now ask you questions three. The answers will hold your future's key. And you must answer each and every query honestly and fairly. Here we go, time to start the show. Which one of these beasts is the hardest for you to make deceased? Oh boy, all Trishums are pretty powerful. Hmm, so that is the one that gives you the biggest scare. Next, which one of these fearsome three most rattles your knees? Oh boy, I sure hate Thunder Rage. You're the most scared of those? Haha, <laughs> that's very good to know. Now which of these do you despise like fleas? Ah... Uh, Francis? Okay, I want to see Francis show up. That is what makes you so very furious? Indeed. How very curious. We're gonna have to fight him though, huh? That's okay, I want to see him again. It's been marvelous fun, but I'm afraid our time together is quite done. But do not fear or fret, no, we shall meet again yet. <laughs> you know, your, your shape-shifting powers are really impressive and useful until you start using them so much in bad places. Where people can obviously tell. Oh no, what am I gonna do? I almost picked the Amazing Daisy because I remember that those gave you a lot of experience in the old Paper Mario game. And this one they probably give you a lot of coins. Oh my god, it's going to be Francis. Nerd, what's going on? Ooh, it's my sweet, sweet Francine. It's you, what are you doing here? I don't know, I was in my comfy chair watching Starship x Not when I warped here. Maybe my Reclinatron 4500 extrapolated my dreams and couch warped me to you. Nothing is gonna take you away from me this time, Francine. Okay, I regret sending Francis here. Help, what have I done? Oh, you can't do Bowser. That's right. Okay. Well, we'll just we'll just use. Wait. Let's use Kudge. Because I think he does double damage if you use him. Where is he? Where's he gonna be? Where's he going? Oh, there he goes. Oh no! Stop! Stop! Let me go! There we go. That wasn't too bad. We're so powered up now, he just didn't stand a chance. Nerr. That's impossible. My high technical battle moves failed me. That's it. I'm going to run a simulation on my computer to figure out what went wrong. Oh, see ya. That was odd. What was he doing here? Mysterious power makes you jolly. Start the wheel of fun. No, don't believe her. It's it's a trap. Oh god, I don't even need that. I'm just going to use it right now. It was a Kama Kama Chameleon. A Kamehameha Chameleon. Eek! 
What are you trying to pull? Impossible. I put everything you hate in there. How'd you get through all that icky stuff? Unless you bad people were lying. How dare you lecture us? You were just pretending to be Merlin and Merly. Talk about a dirty trick. You should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of myself? I like getting what I want, so I do whatever I need to do to get it. You're the one that al that's always having to get rescued by boys. That's embarrassing. Golly, you sure are a lot of talk when you have your little boyfriends to protect you. Wow. Y you Very well. If you insist, I'll give you what you so richly deserve. Princess Peach, you're not really going to... Stay out of this. I am a princess and she has thrown mud at my dignity. You two leave me be. Understood? Okay. Calm down. Aw, oh, the pretty widow princess wants to face me all alone. Boy, it sure would be sad if your boyfriends had to cry over spilled peaches. Me, 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 me. Oh, great. Now we gotta fight. Oh, if I was Luigi, it would have been perfect. Because you could just super jump into her. But, uh... Yeah, this is going to be a little trickier. Me, me, me. Try not to cry or all your pretty makeup will run. Time to go bye-bye, princess. We'll see about that. Let's see. Hmm. I'll just stick with Pudge for now. Oh, couldn't reach. If only I was Luigi. Oh, that's right. You could throw those at her. Whoops. Should jump first. Oh, I jumped too. Oh, oh I'm messing up. Whoops, my bad. That's not good. Ah, go away, don't get stop. Don't do this to me. I don't deserve this. I don't even remember doing that last time. I keep... Oh, I should just jump into her. That would probably be the smartest thing to do. When I mean, she's that low anyways, and then I could jump on her. She probably doesn't have that much health left if I had to guess. I'll just protect myself. Nothing can ever get me here. I guess I was right. Hey, it really does work. Nice. That's some good defense. I just threw her. That's actually funny. She's terrifying like this. This is just disturbing. Whose idea was this? I mean, this is a children's game for crying out loud. The noise she makes when she crawls around, too. Oh, no. I guess I just had to be against the wall there. Well. Can't hurt me when I'm like this. more health than I suspected. Oh no, this again. Yeah, I can't hit her when she's like that. Oh, I'll just wait for you to stop doing that. And then I'll just... There we go. Jeez, I actually am curious now. How much health do you have? I guess because I'm not using Bowser. Oh, HP is quest... Okay. Alright, so they don't even tell you how much health she has, but it, it's it's definitely more than last time. Okay, so you, you can actually defend from below, too. That's good to know. You're just, like, impenetrable when you're like this.
Get back here, you wimp. I'm a little concerned about where those are coming out of, but I'm just gonna not question it. Oh, that was different. Oh, my health is actually starting to get kind of low. Hey, maybe I can actually use one of those Ultra Shrooms. We'll see. I have a feeling she can't have much more health left. I would be very surprised. Oh! You could see her legs breaking off. Alright, so I'm gonna... Go ahead and use an Ultra Shroom, if anything, just to get rid of it too, because I just have so much, like, I, need to, I don't have any space. But I think she has one leg left, which is probably a good sign that she can't last much longer. And I know I could have do, done this fight more cleanly, but I'm just trying to deal the damage. Oh! Tricky. Oh no! You two don't do this to me. YouTube, don't draw my frames. So I'm gonna stop real quick to make sure that it, it's not freezing. Because I don't want you guys to miss miss any of this stuff. I'll drop the bitrate a little, see if that appeases the YouTube overlords. I can see some frames drop, but it says it stopped. But I'm just going to wait a second. Make sure you guys can see. Oh, it's dropping more, I think. Come on. Come on, YouTube. You can do it. I think it stopped. I think we're good now. Can you see now? Also, no problem, Horse and Wells. You got to use the bathroom. You know, you could use the bathroom. Nothing wrong with that. Alright, it says it's back now. I don't get it. I got beat by a princess. Wah! Wah! She's Wario. You. Oh, what's the matter, little girl? Did I spank Mimi a little too hard? You did it, princess. Wow. Princess Peach, you really got her. The destruction is spreading. If we dawdle any longer, we're doomed. You're right. Let's go. Poor Mimi. Mimi, you can't stay here. Go find somewhere safe. Yeah, right. Like you care. Ah. Huh? Where's Peach? Oh. Uh, what was that loud noise? Princess? And one up and I guess Peach got crushed too, Mario. Oh no. I like how they left the room and they didn't even realize she wasn't with them. Hum. You silly princess, what are you doing? What am I doing? I just leapt into action without even thinking. I don't want your stupid help, just, just leave me alone. No, I can't do that. You have been very, very bad, but I can't leave you here to die. I don't know how you were raised, but I taught you to help. I was taught to help people in need. Peach. Wait, I've got you. See ya. And with that, Princess Peach was gone forever. The whole castle shook, and now that door won't open? First Bowser, and now the princess. What do we do, bro? I guess we move on. We have to keep going. 
But, but we can't leave the princess. I know it's horrible, but this is, well, the end of the world. Of all worlds, really. We must press on. Princess Peach would want it this way if she were here. She's already talking about her in past tense. Too soon, Tippy. Well, yeah, I guess that is a Princess Peach thing to say. I'm worried about Peach, but she'd probably be mad at us for wasting time. Okay, bro, let's go. Oh no, Christmas Elf says Luigi is next. I hope not. Yep, end of subchapter. We're making some pretty good paced progress here. Luigi better not be next, it's gotta be Mario next. Luigi's the, the, the most powerful hero of all. I guess we'll find out soon and pretty soon. First Bowser and then the fair Princess Peach were lost to the halls of Castle Bleck. Would they ever be seen again? Without his allies, could our hero Mario hope to stand against the evil Count Bleck? The very air in the castle grew heavier and even more ominous with every step. All they could do was plod forward in silence. Chapter 8-3 Countdown to Destruction We're almost there. Rick says, Peach is so brave to save Mimi's life. Very emotional. Am I right, guys? It was a pretty dramatic scene, I gotta say. The power of the void is growing. I can feel it. The chaos heart is close now. The end is almost here. We must hurry. Yeah. Castle Black Interior. We're getting closer. Uh oh. Okay, I got this, so now I can. Oh, is that it? I just did that to get the extra XP. Whoops! I I'm used to having the hammer out. I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage. Also, what the heck was I doing? I could have just... Oh, you can't do the super jump when you're... Oh, that it was a different kind of... Uh... It wasn't one that slows you down, it was one that takes away your jumping. It's horrible, that's all that Luigi has. You can't do this. That's better. Nice. Should have just went forward. We would have got more XP probably. Oh, there's a slowdown one. There we go. Whoops. Takes longer to charge that in slow motion, understandably. Look at that! Mysterious power makes you jolly. This one's weird, instead of giving you like extra XP or whatever, it gives you like an item. It's very different from the, the good luck charms in the old ones. Um, Getting close to the true final battle. We are getting really close. And yeah, I like my mini Luigi's, they're pretty cool, huh? Yeah, Lu Luigi's definitely my favorite, but that's just in general. Whoa! Where did that come from? We just got hit by some neon spaghettios. These guys give you lots of coins. I mean, look at it. We spent like a good amount of coins before we came to this final chapter and we already are like back to, oh, look at that. All right, so clearly. Now look, now there's like little Luigi's following Mario. You gotta examine this room very carefully. If we go in here, it zips us back here. 
I like how the Luigi's have to run back. That kind of looks like you could blow it up, right? The wall's like a little cracked. Let's see, I wonder if that'll work. Maybe you have to be in 3D. Hmm. Oh, okay, that's all we had to do. Also, what the heck? A sorb Soberad. Oh, okay, I remember now. That's where that was coming from. I guess that was our hint. We only saw this enemy like once before, I think, so. You gotta go inside its barrier, and then. Whoops! I forgot I didn't have the hammer out again. And now we can do this! Oh lord. We have too many things. I, mean, I already have one of these, so I'm just gonna toss that. So let's see, where do we go from here now? I do not like the health beeping noise that's happening right now. Yeah, you think- why is it beeping at 9 hearts? It's kind of weird. I want to heal that just so that it stops doing that. Eh, screw it. I'll use another Ultra Shroom Shake. I'll just, uh... have to be a bit more careful. What else do we go backwards? So that literally just goes backwards. Oh, I see. I see what's going on, I, I think. Hang on. Do these... Is that just decoration? Because there's like... Yeah, that's probably just decoration. They're too far spread out. Maybe they're not. Maybe we have to we have to go this way first. It's like the old it is like I think World 8-3 in the old Super Mario Bros. There's like a maze you have to do if I remember correctly. Yep. I think that's what it was. Hey, it's Dementio. He's just there. He didn't even have an intro or anything. That's Dementio, a magician who works for Count Black. He's like an evil clown. He'll use many magic tricks, including making doubles of himself. It's hard to get a read on this suspicious character. This guy looks different too. Along it all. Oh, that's right, they stretch. I remember now. Jeez, those are. No. Oh my god, there's so many of them. I wonder if this room keeps repeating until you, uh... Oh, no, it doesn't. But we do need a key. Alright, Clifford. I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Alright, we gotta jump into one of these paintings, I figure. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's the key. Perfect. I wonder if there's anything else in here. In fact, look, we could have hopped in earlier, it looks like. Uh, yep, there is something else over here. Ice storm. I'll have to remember to use that soon before I run low on space again. So each one of these sub-chapters we've been- whoops. We've been dealing with one of Count Black's minions. Oh, whoops. I, I forgot. 
I ended up on the back on the other side again. There goes the stream again, dropping quality. That's not cool. Let me wait till I get over to this door. Make sure. YouTube! Please don't cut out for me like this. You were doing so good. Okay, we'll drop the bitrate again. Sacrifice bits to the YouTube overlords. And hopefully that improves it. Let's see, did the frame stop dropping? Look like they did, should be coming back. Okay. Castle Black Key. Yes. It's working? Okay, good. Yeah, YouTube's been very finicky lately. This past, like, week especially. I like using the hammer guy a lot just because it feels very natural. Um, considering in the older Paper Mario's you always... Oh, you can just jump right through the boomerang. That's pretty cool. That's good to know for future reference. I knew it! Ooh, we need another key. Alright, let's see here. Let us see here. Hmm, oh, there we go. And there's a the footprint here, too. These guys are interesting. I don't think there's these types of Koopas in other Mario games that I know of. It's like they just made a whole different design. Alright, so this looks like a puzzle. Oh. You know what? If the other one pops out, screw it. I never- I always forget to use these anyways. Yep, got both of them too. I don't think it's gonna kill him though. Freezing him's good. Now he's finished. Alright, so... I wasn't paying attention to puzzle clues, but let's just see what this does. Uh, we're just supposed to jump on it? That did something. Okay, so just that one, I guess. Sure, that works. One, two, three. Oh, th that just sent us back to the first one, I think. So maybe there's a different door this time. Maybe? Oh, never mind, because this is a new room. Red Chain Chomps. Angry Chomp is filled with uncontrollable rage. Even flames won't hurt this beast. Some say the Chomp's red color comes from its urge to devour pizza sauce. I know that feeling. Maybe someone let it loose in a sauce warehouse. Sounds about right. Whoops. Well, the hammers still do good damage. Power block. Oh, I didn't even realize I got locked in here. I was just... I was just moving along. Minding my own business. Check in here with Mara real quick. Alright.
Huh, interesting. So maybe we have to go 3D and we can get some clues here. No. Well, we can kill these guys too, see if that does anything. And we leveled up too, nice, because our health was getting slightly low. So that's good timing. Try hitting these multiple times. Can't wait until this game ends so I can sleep in early at 11 p.m. Also, it's 10. We should be able to finish by then. We're, we're, we're almost at the final subchapter, I think. I wonder if there's any invisible ones. I need to remember to do that in the different rooms, too. Oh, you can catch them before they vanish. So you could jump on them and then... Well, not there, but... It's possible. Okay. Hey, let's check in here. I gotta, re I gotta remember, because we haven't used that in a while, where... You can, you can look around for invisible stuff. Doesn't seem like this room actually contains anything, though. Very suspicious. I still need a key though, don't I? Yeah, I'm missing something. We need to look more carefully. So it's three blocks. That one opens that door. Hitting it again doesn't do anything. Maybe Tippy can give us a tip. For hidden places, use Mario for high places, call on Luigi. Key is to look around carefully. Okay. What the heck? That didn't do that last time. Okay, sure. Hey Cherry Pie, welcome. Thanks for, for stopping in. We're getting close to the end.
Oh, the maze. This stage was rather fun, says Cherry Pie. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, interesting so far. There's been some tricky stuff. Well, I don't need to do that. I could just, I, f I always forget how high Luigi jumps in this game. Alright, so maybe we gotta go analyze the room as Mario. Ah, there we go. One, two, three. Okay. See, they gotta work together. I forget cause, I forget because you need to get a running start sometimes to get a higher jump. And that must be the key. We are getting closer. Yeah, I'd say this has been a, a pretty proper final chapter so far. Just gotta go all the way back. The only chapter I didn't go back and... You didn't, you didn't go back and replay it? This is my first time replaying through this game. I played it one time through a long time ago, like around the time when the game first came out. And uh, the game got lost in my friend's house. And so uh, this is me finally replaying it after all these years. And I had, I forgot about a lot of it. I remember I enjoyed it, but I forgot a lot of specific things. So it's been cool, like refreshing myself on everything. Oh no. I think that's the first time one of those guys has freeze me. Wait, that's it? Maybe there's stuff up here. Let's see. Oh, yep. Look at that. See this? This is just like the old Super Mario Brothers, uh, like the later levels where you have to like go over the platforms in a really specific way, which which was kind of ridiculous, honestly. Because at least like this way it gives you, you know, you have the, the, the secret hints on the walls. But in the old Mario Brothers one levels where you had to do that, you couldn't, you had no idea, you had to guess. And then on top of that, you couldn't go backwards after, you know, the, the screen moved. You couldn't move the screen back. So there was like a lot of, uh, whoops, I was just supposed to go right. I hope that that doesn't count against me. Uh, you did miss the Mimi fight. I I fought O Chunks and and Mimi and and we we lost Bowser and Princess Peach. So it's just Mario and Luigi right now. Okay, I think that worked. Unless this is that room we were in before again. Whoops! Oh no, if only we had Peach. Uh, we don't need Peach. We got Luigi. Oh wait, there were little platforms, I just didn't notice them. Never mind. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Whoops. The, the second Mimi fight was fun. I was surprised with how much health she had. I had completely forgotten about that. 
he got a lot stronger. Yo, Trunks fight was pretty easy though. Probably because Bowser does double damage. Alright, so we need to find another key in this room somewhere. So let's see which windows are shining and which ones aren't. I'm sure that would give us a hint right there. Oh, this one isn't. There we go. Aha! Whoa! Oh god, this is terrifying. This reminds me of something out of Thousand Year Door. Jesus, look at this. It's horrible. There's so many Dementios. Hey, Super Shroom. Oh, there, is, there we go. And there's the key we needed. Hey, Jonathan Joestar, welcome. We're, you just came in time because we're getting pretty close to the end of the game. And what do we got in here? I probably don't have space for that. And I already have one. You know what? I'm gonna see real quick if I could even use items on these like millions of Dementios. That would be amazing. Probably not. But I'm just gonna use it anyways. No enemies. Okay. And it actually wastes it too. That's kind of messed up. Oh, I couldn't get the other one back. I lost it. Oh well. No big deal. During the second Mimi fight, always just taunted her. What do you mean you taunted her? Do you mean like doing the... the special, the stylish moves? Haha, <laughs> so you've made it here at last. It's Dementio. Oh, but what's this? You seem to be missing the ravishing princess and the arm flailer. Dementio, we don't have time to trade barbs with you. Move out of the way. Ah, I see, you're in a hurry. Allow me to get out of your way then. Oh. Wow. Just as soon as you defeat me, haha. <laughs> uh, he faked us out. It looked like we weren't going to fight him. You've proven to be worthy foes in the past, so I'm not going to make it easy. You'll have to come get me first. It'll be like a game of tag, with magic. Oh, they're not going to make me play as, as a... Oh, look at that. That's not suspicious. This will probably get him out of his hiding. We're going to go to the D Dementio dimension again, probably. Whoa, what the heck? This is like the first chapter, I think. Look, there. This is kind of mind-bending. Uh, you should name your channel J Plays. Well, I, I do J Plays. But, uh, it's just J Reviews because that's kind of like the stuff that I put the most work into. It's just streaming is easier to do more frequently. Oh, you kept pressing down as Peach as it stood in front of her. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had forgotten that Peach's Peach could just defend against everything, basically. Okay, the setup in this world looks very different. Wait, is he gonna be in one of these? Okay, just check in. I guess we just gotta catch up to him. Wait a minute. Is this level set up like the... World 1-1 in Super Mario Brothers? I think it is. It's, it's looking very familiar. Which means... Where was that? There should be an invisible block, like... Eh, maybe not. I don't remember. It's a little different, but it looks... No, yeah, no, this is definitely the setup of Super Mario's World 1-1. Uh, Okay, I see what we gotta do here.
Pam 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 pam. Looks like it won't open. Okay, we gotta keep getting him out of hiding. Or I guess this will teleport us again. The Mentio is one tricky guy. This is is this Merle's mansion? It sure is. I guess we must chase them. I was hoping the vase was gonna come out again. So it looked like you went this way. Whoops. You're not Kudge. You guys remember when I played this chapter and I I found the secret chest? There it is. Oh, I guess he's not in here though. I found the secret chest like really quick and then I couldn't find the actual like main mission we were supposed to do. Those were the times, huh guys? I can hear the sound. So it must be in this room. Hang on. Okay, it's not making the noise anymore. Okay, now it's making the noise. Oh, maybe it's up here. Yeah, the beginning stage again. Oh no. I know, right? How did we do this again? We couldn't cut this... Oh, we, we shut the lasers off last time, but do we have a... Oh no, we didn't. We used Slim. That's right. Yep, it's right there. I can see it. Tricky. This is only an illusion. Now we're underwater. An underwater illusion. Oh! Ah, oh, tricky. All right, let me see something real quick. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. You know what would probably be good for this part? Fairy. Cause then I could just, boom. Hey, look at that, that didn't take too long. And we made our health back too with that mushroom. I'm glad they don't make you play through the whole stages again, just part of it. Oh wait, I have Luigi now. See, one good thing about these levels is like you have Luigi. Oh, never mind, even he can't jump that high. Still though, it's it's definitely helpful than if we were just stuck with Mario. Barry can parry, how clever. That's true. I think it's also probably a, a pun on barrier, because he like forms a barrier around you. Up. Oh. Ah, gotcha. There we go. 
Too bad, uh... If we had Peach, we could just glide across. Although I guess it wasn't really necessary. Ooh, maybe it's up here. Nope. There it is. It was just at the end. And like, the cool thing is, it, it, I like that it makes a sound, so you can kind of figure out quickly if you're going in the right direction or not. Looks like we're going to need to... Luigi! Welcome back, horse and Wallace. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope, uh... I hope everything gets better. I know it's been pretty crazy for a lot of people lately. With all the, uh... The pandemic stuff. We're, we're in the caveman place again. I wonder if we're gonna go back to the... Whoops! I keep forgetting I don't have Kudge at all times. Because this isn't the other Paper Mario's. Um... Stars? What is that? You can't use... Oh, you can't use your special ability, basically. Oh wait, I heard it. I can clearly hear that. Where is that coming from? I wonder if it's gonna take us to the place that got destroyed. You know what? Maybe we need to go 3D. Oh, we gotta wait. Until this wears off. It wore off. Okay. You know, I'm not gonna hit all those. I don't really need it. We have a lot of coins. We have almost a thousand, so... Guessing it's gonna be down here. Yep, there it is. Alright, let's see. Yeah, yeah, wow. He actually took us back here. He's really running through every world trying to get away from us. You know, we could speed things up just a bit. Welcome, Mario, to the world of tomorrow. This isn't exactly the best place to hide. There's nothing to hide behind. The max coins you can have is 999. Ah, I didn't know that. I probably should have been spending my coins more often. Oh, I hear it. Oh, there it is. I could barely see it. I kept waiting for him to hide it somewhere in like the 3D dimension. That would have really been a tricky place to put it. Now we're in the underwear. Oh, oh we can't set the torches on fire either. Okay, we just need to listen for it. Just gotta listen. Right at the door. <laughs> you have 969 coins, which doesn't mean anything. It's just a random sequence of numbers. 
Enjoying my game of tag? I guess. Hey, stop messing around and fight us for real. Messing around? Oh no. Magic is no laughing matter. I am always deadly serious. I've been watching you. You're the only ones who can stand up to Count Black. So I have a favor to ask. Will you help me destroy the Count? <gasps> Sudden twist. Dementio is asking us to destroy Count Black. What are you talking about? You want to betray him? Betray him? <laughs> oh no. It is Count Black who has betrayed me. He said he would destroy all worlds and create a new perfect world in their place. But he was lying. He plans to obliterate every world and then keep them all in ruin. <sighs> I've always known about his nefarious goal, but I could never hope to stop him on my own. I feigned loyalty to him as someone... Uh, as I searched for someone who could defeat him with me. Well, you see, that is why I rescued the princess from certain brainwashing. It's also why I sent you to the underwear to fix the broken pure heart. And why I freed a man to be reunited with his brother. Now do you see? Wow, all this stuff, like, throughout the chapters, he's actually been helping us? You've been helping us all this time? That's what I just said. Ah, you've got me pegged. Now how about you return the favor? I'll give you the power you need to crush Count Black. Just fight by my side. I mean, fight by Dementio's side? Sure. Mario, wait, are you sure you can trust him? I don't know if I believe all of this. Don't believe me, but trust it is the tasty pace that holds civilization together. How does this strike you? Defeat the Count and I will give you a very rare card. Does that entice you? Okay, now that sounds suspicious. Suddenly we're getting a bargains. That's usually never a good thing in Paper Mario. Still, you refuse? But this offer it drips with generosity. With the Chaos Heart in our hands, we could rule every world. Do you still refuse? Whoa, okay. Alright, forget that. So you spit upon my offer? You have wasted my time. For that, your game ends. I think I'll start with the green one. The shag upon his lip will make a fine trophy. It's horrible. Shag? This mustache is all Luigi. Leave this one to me, bro. You run ahead. You've got worlds to save. You don't have time to fight this baddie. Don't let Bowser and Peach's sacrifices be for nothing. Or mine, either. Luigi, no. Besides, he made fun of my stash, bro. You know how I'm sensitive about that. Let me at him. Okay. Run for it, bro. Thanks, bro. Uh-oh. Haha, <laughs> how tender. I just squeezed out a tear. Yes, Mario, you can run along. And if he somehow manages to defeat Count Black on his own, all the better. And so I strike like an unseen dodgeball in an echoing gymnasium. Oh, here we go. Alright. Let's see. Oh, I can't use any pixels. That's weird because when you're Bowser and Peach, you can use the pixels. But Luigi can't. That's messed up. Um, see, are there any of these I should use? I'll wait and see how this fight goes first, naturally. Can we point at the screen? Nope, can't use Tippy either. Yeah, because Tippy was with Bowser and Peach, but not with Luigi. This guy's tricky. Whoa! Oh no, Luigi can't go through to the third dimension. Oh no. Oh, what's that? He's trying to trap me. It's horrible. Oh, I didn't time it right. Okay, he didn't have too much health. No! 
Chris Marcel said Luigi's too strong, he's only using 10% of his power. Because Cherry Pie said Luigi is shaggy, confirmed. I, I cry uncle, mercy, uncle I say. Hey Maxi, welcome. Oh yeah, we're almost at the end of the game. Had enough Dementio, I didn't need my superstar bro to take you on. I see that now. Your power is formidable. Which is exactly why I can't let you fall into complex velvet lined gloves. W what are you doing? <laughs> I have you now, Luigi. We, st we will both taste the agony of game overing by magic. What? No! You can't do this! Dementio! Ciao. No! Luigi! Oh, Luigi. That's what I said. No, it can't be. But Luigi... You're right, Mario. It hurts, but you're right. We must grieve for him later. Mario didn't say that. Mario wants to stop and grieve. We have to stop the count. <sighs> oh boy. And there's the end of the subchapter, which means... I believe this means we're on to the final subchapter, final part of the game. We've lost all of our partners in the process. Omaiwa moe shireru. A frigid wind blew through the dim and drafty corridors of Castle Black. Bowser, Peach, and even brave Luigi were gone. Mario was the only hero left. It was up to Mario to stop the dark prophecy. Every world hung in the balance. What thrilling conclusion awaited our hero? Mario ran to the Count's inner sanctum, his mustache fluttering in the breeze. They sure talk about mustaches a lot in this game. Here we go, chapter 8-4. Tippy and Count Black. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll use items for the final boss fight. I just... I've been hanging on to stuff. So it's just left us now, isn't it? It reminds me of the time we first met. Aw, oh, Tippy's getting nostalgic. I'm so sorry, Mario. But I've also betrayed... Oh, never mind. I promised you that I would help you find your friends. And now, all of them are gone forever. What the heck? This is a kid's game. Can't say that. What? You're saying you know they're still alive? Maybe you're right, and they did somehow survive. They are heroes. Well, I don't know about Bowser, but sure. I guess they've been heroes during the course of this game. I'm going to believe in them. And I'm going to believe in him, most of all. Ooh, who's she talking about? Castle Black Inner Sanctum. Uh, it feels so weird. All we have left is Mario. At least we don't gotta switch between people a lot. That's one positive. There's a peach. Oh, wow, these guys are just dropping items like crazy now. Alright, I'll, I'll, uh... Use that. Yeah, that's one positive to my life not being full. Oh my god, please! I have a feeling I'm gonna have to leave some items behind. And then look at that, they were gonna heal me anyways. At least they give you points too, so they're not just entirely wasted. It's boss time. Good luck, Jay. Thank you. Oh! 
These guys can be annoying, but we just gotta... We just gotta... Oh, we gotta get him before he gets me. They do a good amount of damage, though. Five. That's nothing to cough at. Alright, let's see. Wait, let me guess. Tippy. Yep. We haven't used that ability in a while. Drowning in abundance, Jay. We're almost at the boss. We're almost at the final boss of Super Paper Mario. Oh. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> now I can do Whoops, didn't need to do that. Just had to wait. There we go. Wait, I wonder what's up here. Oh, never mind. We don't need to worry about that. Oh, I thought another one was coming. I guess they don't come that frequently. Hello. Was there something down there, like a blue button or something? Or that's, that was just the, okay, that was just the buzzy beetle, whatever they're called. Whoa, I didn't want to do that. Or rather, I shouldn't have did it. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. I got lucky there. Oh no, do I even have a key? I do not have a key. That's not good. Or I should have analyzed that spot a bit more first, probably. Yeah, let's do that before we do anything drastic. So maybe we did have to go more to the left. Ah, oh, look at this. We got lucky. We found that more quickly than uh, than it potentially could have been. What is that? Is that like a tiny hole we could fit into? Looks like it might be. Yes, you could barely see that too. And take some damage, that's fine. Wow. Wow, that, that's pretty tricky. If you're like playing this as a kid, that probably would have took you a while to figure out. Which I guess makes sense, because it's the final area of the game. Come on, Elevator Mario is ready to go. place just gets trickier and trickier. Oh, look at the windows. I think we're getting close. 
Wait a minute. Do these... We might have to remember these torches, because I see it. Up, down, up. Whoa! Oh, I remember these. A legendary Mega Mooth. HP 200, attack 8, and they trample nearly anything. I think I used Bowser to kill that last time. They are gods among moots. Alright, um, wait! I'm trying to think of the best way to deal with this- wait! Maybe I could just- Oh, you can't really do that safely, okay. We'll just- We'll just- That's gotta give you so much XP, so I gotta take care of it. Even though he's wrecking me right now. Hang on. I always have so many items. Let's see if I could use something. Um. Hmm. Double damage would be nice. That would speed things up. And it wouldn't... It might feel a little cheap if I use that against the last boss. So maybe this would be a good time to use that. And then I could use a Shroom Shake too. Because those don't heal... A super lot anyways. Yeah, let's do that. And then that'll save us up some space for items if we uh if we find any more items, please. Yeah, let's just do this carefully. Wow, we already ran out of our double damage. There we go. What was that, just two thousand? I guess that wasn't a as much as I thought. Oh, there's another one! Jesus! Oh no. Okay, now I actually feel like... Alright, um... Yeah, maybe let's just go around these. I thought it was gonna be worth more XP, I guess. Jesus, there's so many! Okay, yeah. If we had stopped and taken all those down, that would have been... That would have taken a while. Although I'm pretty close to leveling up. Ah, it's so tempting. It's fine, we'll just move on. I'm a Zelda enthusiast. Puzzles are usually my thing, says Cherry Pie. You can't set these torches on fire, unfortunately. Oh god. I think I'm really close to leveling up, so I don't want to heal quite yet. Even though we have to deal with the annoying, uh... Beep, 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 beep. It's fine. It'll go away soon. I promise. See, this levels us up, hopefully. Nope, I thought that hitting the seven, 700,000 would do it, but uh, how do you check for that actually? Is there a way to check? Next level, oh, we need 20,000 more. Okay. Ganon buys a box, but he can't know what's inside. Zelda buys a house that she's too afraid to go into. Link gets awoken inside a temple, he'll forever be too weak to escape. That's a fun puzzle. Sounds terrifying. Okay, one of these doors has to be something we could actually walk into. Maybe one of these torches are lit? Oh, there we go. It was right here. Okay, I, I had seen the the pathway to the next one. It was right next to where we came in. 
What the heck was that? Oh, these! They give you lots of stuff, I think. Oh, if you don't die. Okay. You know what? They'll probably give us another Ultra Shroom Shake. Um... Before the boss, so I'm just gonna use this now. Yeah, I'll just use it now. It's probably best to save the life shroom for the boss fight. And then let's use the power block, because I know it's pretty weak anyways, so I'll just save some space. Yay! No, that wasn't too weak actually, that was okay. Oh, these guys. Whoops. Oh, was that it? And this is gonna start repeating itself. It might start repeating itself. Oh, okay, this guy's new. <gasps> Mysterious power makes you jolly. Oh, this again. <laughs> I always expect it's gonna be like a uh, an XP bonus, but they never give you that in this one. Well, not from the charms. Oh. I know, we have max... Mario has so much money, he can't even hold it all. Oh, we can actually pick up and use these things. I don't want to like, have any keep switching. Keep switching the items out. <laughs> I got they get hit from behind and then they just keep walking. <laughs> what was that? What was that noise? I guess it was nothing. Hope we're going the right way. Okay, that's a different enemy, so I'm gonna once again assume that we're going the right way. All oh, these fuzzies. I haven't seen them in a while. Hey, this is something. Oh, there. Well, there we go. I knew it. Figured we were gonna get another ultra shroom. I forget if these guys give you a lot of XP or not. I know you have to use Boomer. Five hundred? Eh, that's not a lot. We'll just toss that. Wouldn't say it's worth just killing them all anyways. Whoa! You guys aren't supposed to be able to do that. Okay, I think this is the right way because it's like a very specific path. Oh, that's where the key was, huh? Or not the key, the, uh, the chest. I need to... 
You know what's the only thing about the quick menu? Um... You can't, like, I, I'm used to going to this menu and then quickly going to items like that. Boom, boom. But when you go to the quick menu, you actually... Nice, we leveled up. When you use the quick menu, you can't double tap right as quickly for some reason. It goes like... I don't know if you can really tell. Oh, I just used my ultra. Okay, that was, that was dumb of me. Well... Hopefully I won't need that. Because it's gone forever. I don't know why I, I decided to, to talk about that at that moment. <laughs> the game was like, what? Are you nitpicking something? And then they took away my Ultra Shroom. Yeah, that's true. I know you can just press left, but like, I don't know, I like doing that. Like, boom, boom, boom. But you're right, you can't just press left. Alright. Wow, I have a lot of likes. 11 likes? That's awesome. Wait for my 3D to fill up again. Since I don't have an Ultra Shroom anymore, I gotta be a little more careful, you know? Or Ultra Shake, I should say. Uh. Hang on. I don't know, I just wanted to check. these guys left? Where the other ones go? Alright, I need to look more carefully. Oh, I don't think I've been down here. Yeah. For some reason I had assumed that that was just a tiny room, I think, when I should have checked more thoroughly. There we go. Thanks for all the likes, guys. Appreciate it. Okay, I think this is gonna be the boss fight. Too bad that wasn't the, the shake. You look at save block and everything. What am I gonna have going into here? I'm gonna have... I still got some decent stuff though. For sure. Oh boy. I feel... I feel something very, very powerful. Is it the Chaos Heart? Bleh. Oh, there he is. We're in the room that they're always having their, their meetings at. I see you've come at last, so you really are the hero of the Light Prognosticus. Count Bleck. But you are far too late to stop the Dark Prognosticus and me, Count Bleck. All worlds will soon end. Come to grips with that now, for you cannot stop it. I suggest you make yourself comfortable and enjoy this one final spectacle. But why? Do you really want to destroy everything? Why would you do this? How could you do this? Rick said it's been fun, but he has to go to sleep. Alright, Rick, thanks for stopping in. Sorry that uh, you couldn't see the finish here. Count Bleck does not care about any world. They are all meaningless. Better than that I destroy them. Better yet, I shall make it as if they never existed at all. 
If the worlds have no meaning, was our meeting meaningless as well? Answer me, Blumier. Ooh. You know the answer, dear Timpani. Count Bleck does not have to tell you. But the hour has grown too late. You should know that by now. Blumier. My love, Blumier. Or rather, Count Bleck. The only way we can stop this is to defeat you. And that is exactly where Mario and I have come here, to stop this. Bleh heh heh Bleh. Very well, but I will also do what I must. Count Bleck is the deleter of worlds. My fate is written in the dark prognosticus. Do not think for a moment that I will hesitate to strike you down. All now ends. Oh boy. Blumier, my Blumier. Leave me, Nastasia. I will deal with these two alone. But... Count Bleck demands it. I will not say it again. Yeah, right away, Count. Damn. He just friend-zoned you. Are you prepared, hero? Our duel will be worthy of the last clash the world will ever see. Oh boy! Oh, you can actually jump on these. So that's what they were jumping off to. That's Count Bleck. This dark figure wants to destroy the universe. He was once Blumier. Uh, he was once Blumier, a man that I loved. 150 HP. What? Okay, attack is 8. He will use all the powers the Chaos Heart grants him. We have 8 pure hearts, and he has one chaos heart how is that e equal but you can beat him if you give it your all and beat him you must for the sake of all worlds and to save the blue mirror i loved okay here are we going oh okay maybe we gotta okay hang on Ooh, it's protecting him Apparently Chaos is stronger. How laughable. Is that all the heroism you can muster? Let me show you true power. Our attacks aren't doing anything. He's being shielded by the Chaos Heart. Oh well, I guess the universe is doomed. Well. Ouch. There was like a miniature void. You can't so much as tug on the cape of Count Bleck. You have failed. Mario, your attacks aren't working at all. Bleck, I expected more potency from the Hero of Prophecy. Uh-oh. I will watch your game end, and then your precious worlds will end soon after. Is this the end? Oh, come on, you're giving up already? It's Bowser! Come on, man up a little. You never give up this easy when you attack my castle. Bowser is alive! So you are alive then. So does that mean Princess Peach and Luigi- No, they're gone. It's just me. Oh, there they are. We would never let you destroy everything, you awful count. Yeah, you tell him, Princess. We're not gonna let you get away with this. We aren't giving up. You'll never win. You're all here, but how? I fell through the floor before I got flattened by the ceiling. I fell through too and landed right on Bowser. It was a surprisingly soft landing. He must have landed on his stomach. I don't even know what happened, bro, but the princess found me out cold. But we're all here now, so let's do this. You heard him. Now you've got to deal with all of us. <laughs> When the four heroes are united, it is all as foretold. W what's this? What is now happening to Count, to Count Black? <gasps> it's the pure hearts. The pure hearts. Are they gonna... They're gonna cancel out the chaos heart? Oh, look! 
What the heck? Huh? My barrier is gone? Four heroes unite. Their hope burns forth light to shatter the walls of blight. Just like Merle said. So be it, says Count Black. But don't celebrate just yet. Your precious worlds aren't safe until my last breath. Let us finally end this. Now the true battle begins with Count Black. Uh oh. Alright. Wait, this means we can use... Whoops! See? I'm switching to Luigi, because Luigi got some more hops. 10 damage! That last level up really helped. Oh boy, where's he at now? Oh no. Just do some stylish moves off the boss. Oh no, he slowed down time. Oh no! Jesus, that was like a super attack. Can we get him? Because oh. if he had 150 health, that means we have to just hit him 15 times. Whoa, where am I? What the heck's going on? Whoa, I can't tell if that was a, a glitch or on purpose, because I was like walking on air. That was weird. Come on, Count Black. Give me all you got. Oh, okay, so you are supposed to walk. He just Luigi looks really casual walking away from that massive black hole, I gotta say. Can we get him from below? Yes we can. That's another sick thing about Luigi, you can attack uh, enemies from below. Whoa! Like... let's see... where is he? Oh, just missed. There we go. I can't tell if that actually did 20 damage though, or if it still did 10. There we go, look at that. The chaos part is like, just chrome, basically. Bleh. <sighs> Guys, I think we did it. We defeated Count Black. And now we have the- oh, the Chaos Heart's bigger than the Pure Hearts, I think. Ex excellent. Um, Count? You have won. Now finish, Count Black. Dispatch me and the Chaos Heart will disappear. The prophecy will be undone. Why does it have to end like this? Timpani, when you vanished, I searched long for you. I never gave up looking. I searched and searched. But I never found you. Without you, the world held no meaning or joy. So I used the forbidden prophecy of the tribe of ancients to end all worlds. I wanted to destroy everything that had taken you away from me. But I am here now. No one can keep us apart anymore, don't you see? It is too late, Count Black has done so much evil. It must end. Just knowing that you are still alive, and knowing that the world you still live in will continue, it gives me peace. I do not have long to live. You must end my game before the void destroys all. But we're finally together again. Uh-oh. Count, look out! <gasps> Nastasia! She jumped in front of... A, an attack that was gonna hit Count Black. Silly assistant absorbing my attack to protect him. What an adorably hopeless gesture. I was about to give him the everlasting peace he so desperately wants. Dementio, you're alive? Ahaha, of course, this is my moment. Even if the Count dies, the Chaos Heart won't disappear if I continue to control it. 
but I needed the power of the pure hearts to beat him. I couldn't do that on my own. So I had you do all the sweaty labor for me. And you even used up your pure hearts to defeat Count Black. If they make greeting cards to thank people for helping with evil plans, I owe you one. What are you saying? I'm saying that you no longer have value to me, so I'm ending your games. They're all yours, Mr. L. Mr. L? But... Huh? Uh-oh. Why am I flapping my arms? This isn't good. Oh no. No! It can't be! I am Mr. L. Master Dementio, what is your bidding? When did this happen? When I sent Luigi here, I planted a seed in his fertile soil of his unconscious. And now that seed has sprouted spectacularly. Mr. L, run along now and get ready for your big entrance. No, but I was using Luigi. He's my favorite. Now, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the greatest magic show you'll ever see. Oh no. Oh no. So Dementio had his own side plan the whole time and it was also evil. It was even more evil. What? Green. The final boss is a deformed chaos Luigi that's... Luigi! <laughs> The Dark Prognosticus says he's the ideal host for the power of the Chaos Heart. And now I'm going to add my own power to this spicy little concoction. No, stop. Count Black, you look so tattered and pathetic. I nearly forgot about you. I'll squeeze the life out of you later. Just wait over in that dimension. Okay, great. The final boss is Luigi? No! Now the Chaos Heart is mine. I will use this to destroy all worlds and create the perfect new ones. So shall we get started? Now I have all I need to become the king of all worlds. Guys, I'm scared. Okay. Well, first of all, let's see if we can even deal damage to this guy, because he looks pretty invincible at the moment. Yeah, this isn't good. Did we go inside of him? Haha, I am now invincible. There is nothing you can do. And now it is time for the destruction to begin. Let it begin with you as you wallow in helplessness like upside down turtles. L power. Guys. I don't like the sound of this. The worlds tremble. Has the end finally come? How unfortunate. <gasps> no. Not flop side. What? No. Not other place in first chapter. Good night, Ricks. Not cave town. We have to do something. We have to save Mara and the others. Count Black is so beat up. Oh! T Tippy got thrown over there as well. We cannot. Without the pure hearts, there is no way to counter the chaos heart. All we can do is give up. What are you saying? You promised we would find happiness together. Was that all just a lie? It was no lie. But without the pure hearts, all worlds are doomed. What can we do? Lumiere, snap out of it. How can you think it would end here after all we've suffered without each other? We found each other again because we stayed alive. How can you admit defeat? I will not. I will not give up. You promised we'd find happiness. You promised. That's right, Count. It's Mimi and O-Chunks. My minions, how did you find us here? Gosh, I could follow you, your big smile anywhere, Count. Ah, oh, she lies like a wee rug this last. Nastasia, Nastasia, Nastasia told us, Count, she said you'd come here. 
or she said she felt you'd be here or something along those lines. Nastasia. Talk about going the extra mile. She even sacrificed herself to save you. Listen, Count, I promised me life as well, and I ain't afraid to live up to it. So yeah, gotta let me help. Yeah, I mean, there's no way Dementio's getting away with this. He pulled a really dirty trick on you, but we'll always stick by your side. My, my loyal minions. Wait, what? The pure hearts. They've all come back? Hmm, what's this? Pure hearts? But why? Isn't it obvious, Blumier? Pure hearts are the very feelings of our souls. As long as we feel love, they live on. I will take these to Mario. We're getting the pure hearts back. Hmm, let's stop wasting time and finish this, shall we? Ciao. Not so fast. <laughs> what? What's going on? No, the pure hearts. I thought you wasted them all fighting Count Black. Well, think again. What's happening? I'm not invincible anymore. That's right, you're not invincible anymore. And we got healed. Now's our chance. The pure hearts have given us power. Let's get him. We gotta get him before he gets me. Wait. When he signals, Dementia will attack. Oh, sorry, I wanted to see what she says about the actual boss. That Super Dementio, a freakish blend of Dementio, the Chaos Heart, and Luigi. That monstrous body has immense power. Max HP is 200, attack is 6, concentrate attacks to the head. You'll have to climb those platforms to reach the head to attack. Okay. This is truly the final battle. Winning is the only option. Okay, so I think we want to use Bowser since he does double damage. Whoops. Boom! Yeah, look at that. 20. Only problem is he's a little slow. Oh, look at that. Fire even works. And you know, let's see if there's any items that could be useful at this moment. Courage Shell. Sure, let's take that. I'm always like... Okay. I think that worked. That was okay. And then... Mighty Tonic. Sure, let's take that too. Up and down. Up. Oh. I was shaking it the wrong way at first. Yeah, use carry, that's a good idea. We're, we don't need a... Uh, Cludge right now, do we? Well, 40 damage. Oh my god, I just annihilated him. That double, the double power made me so OP. I was doing 40 damage. Oh god. I just, <laughs> I just annihilated him. That's kind of sad. I think we just decapitated, we just decapitated Luigi. How did you do it? How could I have lost with the power of Luigi and the Chaos Heart? And the prophecy, has it been undone? I was saving up those items and they actually came in handy. I think your prophecy was wrong all along. You believed your prophecy and we believed in mopping the floor with you. Nothing is decided entirely by fate, you know. All things determine their destinies. Goodbye now, Dementio. We'll add a footnote to the prophecy about your failure. Oh, you think this is the end? This isn't finished. You can't stop this now. You can't escape. I've been saving one last surprise. Oh boy. Ah, oh, ciao. Luigi! Wow, he's a sore loser. Since he couldn't become the kings of, of the new world. He's just, just gonna let all the worlds get destroyed. And what am I doing here?
Oh, there goes the Chaos Heart. That's what we wanted to get rid of, right? The count's looking better. So it seems the end of all worlds is really upon us. So defeating Dementia wasn't enough to stop it? I thought the Chaos Heart would disappear if the person controlling it fell. Dementio must have left behind a shadow of his power to continue controlling it. It won't last long, but it may be enough to ensure the end of every world. Wow, what a sore loser. Oh great, so what do we do now? There's only one thing left we can do. Whoa, that's a big door. Run! We gotta make a run. This way. Everyone's here. The gang's all here. Where is this going to be? Hmm. Well, this place seems peaceful. I don't see any voids consuming things. Hey, I remember this place. Timpani, do you still... Do you still love me? Oh, that's kind of a question right here. Pretty heavy question. Yes, Blumier, of course I do. Then you must come with me. This music. Hey, Count. What are you doing? We will use the pure hearts again. This time to banish the Chaos Heart. All we need is true love, and that is something I am lucky enough to possess. But, with the Chaos Heart gone, the pure hearts and those linked to them, they may cease to exist. You mean you might go away? Well, I don't want you to go. All of this is my fault. The price is mine to pay. I do not have long to live anyway. But you, Timpani. It pains me to know this may cut your game short. Still, there is no other way to end this. They're gonna sacrifice themselves to try to stop this? I know, Blumier, I know. Timpani. Don't say another word. As long as I am with you, nothing else matters. And nothing else matters. It's happening. What? You said all this love stuff is useless, Cherry Pie, but... They are- we were collecting pure hearts all the time, if you think about it. We must go, Timpani. Yes, Blumier. Uh-oh. Oh, there's the Chaos Heart. There were so many things I wanted to say to you, but I could not find the words. Oh, Blumier, only one thing matters to me now. I never had the chance to return your question. Blumier, do you still love me as well? Of course, I have that thought about you every moment since you disappeared. But I have caused you so much suffering. Perhaps my life would have been more carefree without you, that is true. But I had to be with you, Timpani. I will never apologize for that. I know it blew me air. And I love you. And I love you, Timpani. Hundreds of thousands of years from now, that fact will not have changed. Oh boy. The power of love and friendship. Everything's shaking. Are we too late? Wait, can you hear that? I hear bells. Bells? How lovely. The bells are giving their blessing to Tempe and Tim Tippy and Black. Erg. Can everyone hear the bells? Whoa, the void. Oh, the void's going away. <gasps> Is 
that the cave place? I didn't even realize the cave place had been destroyed. But now it's back. Look! Even that, the, the samurai place got resurrected. Jeez, why was he yelling? Timpani, do you remember the promise we made to each other that day? Yes, I remember. If there was a place where we could be happy together, we would find it. Will you come with me to that place now? Lumiere, of course. I will always be there with you. I just read it said of course right as Cherry Pie wrote of course in the chat at the same time. Bro. Big bro. Why did Mario pass it out? You awake bro? The void is enormous. Should be gone by now. Great leaping bog monkeys. Nastasia, she draws breath once again, lads. Nastasia, hey Nastasia. Miracle of miracles. Gregoogly hey hoorah. Hmm. Um, uh, I'm alive. Mario, check it out. It gets bigger and just eats everything. The void is closing. Yes, it is proof that the prophecy of destruction has not come to be. And all worlds have been saved. The prophecy has lost its power. Thusly, the world that was lost returns to normalcy. You have done well, heroes. It is all thanks to you. But where is Tippy? This is pretty wholesome, isn't it? I see, so she has gone. Ah, this too must have been under the guidance of the pure hearts. Both Tippy and Count Black gone, what could have happened to them? I shudder to think about it, but surely when the prophecy was nullified... Um, no, they're alive. Yeah, they're finally united. They overcame time and fulfilled their old vows. Somewhere, the Count is living together with Tippy in, um, happiness. And I? Yeah. I... Oh! Wow! Count, no! I'm all alone! That's so sad. What am I to do now? She liked the Count, but the Count had the... The timpani was his love. And now... Me, we, Nastasia, I'm believing the Count is still alive, too. And if he's alive, lass, we shouldn't want to be shaming. I'm with blubbering. So pull it together, eh? He's right, Na Nazy? 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 We still have each other. We can still build the Count's world. So come on, big smile. Oh, oh Chunks, Mimi. Oh, oh, Chunks, Mimi. You're right. Yeah, I can't just sob like this forever. The Count would never have approved. We have to create the ideal world that um the Count wished for in his heart. A world of love, not war. Yeah, let's all pencil that in. An appointment of hope. Farewells are bittersweet, but as long as you live, you can never escape them. To feel sadness is to live. But as long as you are alive, the future is a blank page. And with that, I am hungry. <laughs> I was just thinking that myself. I'm a little hungry right now. I've asked Saffron to make some of her celebrated snacks for us. Let us heal our weariness by devouring a banquet of s sumptuous sweets? Shouldn't it be scrumptious? Alright. Oh yeah, that is a plan. Make a path. Oh, Bowser's ready to eat. Yeah, I know it's it's pretty late for like East Coaster. It's it's only 10 10:30 here, which is why I'm doing this so late. 
Sorry about that. Merlin, what is it? Ah, uh, Princess Peach. I'm thinking of Tippy. I mean, Lady Timpany. I wonder if she truly is happy now. Of course she is. Ho ho ho. Yes, yes, of course. Well, let's have at those snacks. Stop talking about snacks, you're gonna make my stomach grow. So the dark prophecy was averted and peace reigned. The dark prognosticus again faded into history. Count Lumiere and his love, Lady Timpany, both vanished. Where did the pair go? None know. And so the story of the Lost Book of Prophecies comes to an end. May we meet again in another time and place. Wow. I gotta say, you know, it took some starting up, but I think the that ending, that was a pretty dramatic, touching ending. They sacrificed themselves to save the world. No one knows where they were, but it, no, nobody knows where they went, but at least they're together forever, as they always wanted to be. We did it. We finished Super Paper Mario. What a nice story. See, the, the little side story that happens after each chapter between Lumiere and Timpani, and you slowly piece together as it goes on that it was Count Bleck and Tippy the whole time. I gotta say one, Tippy's a really interesting character because when you first have her, she's very robotic and stoic. She doesn't really talk much. She doesn't really show a lot of emotion. She's like, we should do this. We should go here. And at first it feels like she's, it's just bad writing, like she's not written very well, her dialogue. But then as it goes on, she starts showing more and more emotion. She starts remembering her past life. Like you, you find out that she wasn't even a pixel originally. And, you know, she, you, you see the, the, the relationship between her and Count Black and it, it gets a lot more interesting. It's pretty, pretty cool. It's a good evolution of a character. What did you guys think overall? Did you like it? They're just, everyone's just talking about Bowser and Peach are technically still married. I mean, if that's true, I guess in, I guess the Paper Mario universe is separate from like the the 3D Mario universe, since in Odyssey, Bowser's trying to marry Peach. Like in that game. But yeah, this was a really fun game. It was just as fun as I remember. It's not my favorite Paper Mario game, but it's still really, really good. It's different. It's very different. It's a very different kind of game, but it's still really cool. I, I think it's best if you consider this one a spin-off of the original series. Even the title, it's like Super Paper Mario. It's like a, a mix between like a Super Mario Bros. game and a Paper Mario. It's definitely really good. But a lot of people apparently, I, I don't know, like, I'm sure there's a lot of people who like this game, but there are people who complain and s that they just think this game's bad because it's different from the first two Paper Mario games. But I don't think that's fair. All rights, including the copyright of game scenario, music, and program, reserved by Nintendo and Intelligent Systems. Wow. The end. Oh, look! It's Bloomier and Timpani in her human form. You could just barely see their silhouettes. They're finally together somewhere where they can be happy together. Isn't that nice? Aww. 
Uh, Maxi says, "When does when's Jay gonna play Thousand Year Door? I've never seen him play it. I don't know if I'm ever gonna do the first two Paper Mario's guys on a stream. I really like them. Like, don't get me wrong, I really like them, but I just feel like playing like a long turn-based RPG on a stream might be a bit. I don't know. It would take a while." Even this one, I think this is the longest game, like, playthrough on a stream I've ever done. And it just kind of barely hit the limit of how long I want to do a playthrough where you're... I don't know. It's just the fact that it was more focused on... Like, turn-based playthrough, it just feels like it would kind of be... A slog to sit through for someone just watching me play through it. I don't know. Or should be that interesting. And then there would be a lot more text to read. Don't get me wrong, I love I love Paper Mario 64 and I love Thousand Year Door. I just don't know if it would be good for me to stream. Um But I should say I do plan on well th this game's done, so now there's room for another game that I'm going to do regularly. I plan on doing Wario Land Shake It for the Wii. I just got that in the mail recently. So you can look forward to that. I've never played it before. So I'm looking forward to that one. Um, what else? I'm going to continue the Kirby games pretty soon. Um, I still have to finish the Mega Man games. Um, if anyone wants, I, I have the link to the J Reviews Discord in the description. So if you want to, if you have any questions or if you want to be kept up on updates or anything like that, you can join that and uh, I should be able to, you know, help you fill you in on whatever you need to know or whatever. Uh, but, but actually, hang on, let me... Oh, they're gone. I didn't even notice. They walked away. Okay, I just... Real quick. Because I know there's a post game, so I just wanted to get into that and save it. Um, Wario Land Shake It is awesome. That's good to know. So, we got all the hearts. And I'm just going to load this up real quick to um, see, because I know there's like a little bit of post-game story that just we could read it through. You've all joined? Oh, sorry. Cherry Pie, you've joined? Okay, cool. Thanks. I know, I, I just like to say that at the end, so in, in case if someone's watching and they, they don't know about it and they want to keep up to date. So I, I'm just going to probably mention it at the end of streams. I hope that doesn't get annoying. A rousing success. I worried about a Tippy being gone so long, but clearly magical events transpired. I'm not gonna do like any like extra side stuff. I'm just, I'm just getting the post game story real quick, and then I'm gonna save and wrap it up. It's been a while. Thanks to all of you, this town and indeed all towns are now safe. Please accept my thanks. Now tell me of Tippy. Have you heard anything about her at all? I see. Nor have I. It seems no one has seen Tippy at all. But somehow I can't shake the feeling that she is alive. Yes, alive. Alive and living somewhere happily, I am sure. Oh, our tale almost seemed to turn sad there for a moment, didn't it? Well, you've been gone so long, there must be many people you still wish to see. Please take your time. I will be at home. Please come by if you feel the urge. Goodbye, my friends. So, I guess at this point in the story, they've been gone for a while, and he, he's revisiting. Uh, so here's the thing, uh, Christmas Elf. Because you say post-game without Tippy. You know what, screw it, I'm going to do it right now. I do remember this. I remember... Um, is this the one with Francis? Let's see if I do this right. 
Yeah, Cherry Pie says it right there. You can get a tippy replacement. And you know what? I'm just gonna try to do that real quick. And then I'll, and then I'll, I'll save and wrap things up. I know I didn't want to do any side stuff, but normally, okay, this isn't the right place. It must be chapter three. I need to get to the to Francis uh Francis's castle. But yeah, it's funny because this is one of the few things I do remember. You'll see Christmas Elf. Cause with Tippy gone, you can't point at things, which kind of, you know, leaves you, uh, lacking in some ways. And I wouldn't have done this, but I know you need a lot of money. There you go. It, Cherry Pie said right there, it costs 999 coins, which I have that many, so I figure we might as well do it. Oh, we need a totally hot babe to go in there. All right, chill out. What is that doing there? When I see something super rare, I must own it. But trying to hold a digital butterfly against her will landed me in the hospital. So I'm, uh, I think I'm done with that stuff. This time I harnessed my inner nerd to create something beyond high technical. Dying to see it, aren't you? Behold. Look. He made his own Tippy. My masterpiece, a one-to-one -one scale replica of Tippy with real fluttering action. I like to call her Tiptron. Hey, that's not my name. I'm Tippy. D did you hear that? She can perfectly replicate Tippy's voice. Tiptron can even flutter. She's pretty much the pinnacle of high technicality. Tiptron earned me the coveted elite nurse status on the digibutter.nerf forums. Oh, would you by any chance be interested in buying her? I'm saving for Starship X not issue one, so I'll sell her for just 999 coins. This is a sweet deal on a super rare collectible, what do you say? Well, we gotta buy it. We can't let this, you know, this artificial intelligence be stuck in this horrible situation. Nur, I knew you couldn't resist something this high technical. I guess it was a good thing that I had so many coins by the end of the game, because then I was able to do this. I wouldn't have bothered if I had to grind for it. There's all the coins. You're now the owner of the only Tiptron in the entire universe. Tippy's robot replica Tiptron has joined your party. She looks and talks just like the real Tippy. Well, are you ready to go? That's Francis, a chameleon who lives for anime, games, and comics. He may not know a lot about a variety of subjects, but he is a master of geek lore. He constructed me. Constructed me. No, I'm Tippy. I wasn't constructed by anyone. That's kind of psychologically horrifying. <laughs> Honestly. Alright, now we can wrap things up. I just, I had to save Tiptron from this, this uh, horrible life. Okay, let's go save. Wow, what a game. It's cool that they allow you to get like a replacement Tippy without, you know ruining the story, even though it's still kind of like a psychologically terrifying situation for this AI that thinks it's Tippy. Anyway. What a game. Luigi. That was fun. Well, guys, that's gonna be it for tonight. Thanks for watching my playthrough. Thanks for everyone who 
watched it from the beginning. Thanks for people who hopped in part way and just stuck around. I really appreciate it for, you know, giving it a chance. You know, watching new people play games, you know, sometimes you, you know, who has time for that? So I really appreciate it. So with that, uh, that, that'll be it, I guess. So guys, you know, stay safe, stay healthy. Have a good night. Thanks for joining everybody. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.